Royal palaces in central Seoul are always great choices to check out as the reddened leaves add to the atmosphere. Visitors can soak in the unique nocturnal experience as the gates are open at night too. Kim bo Kyung takes us there. Kundongjeon Hall is at its most sumptuous and stately under the moonlight. The Joseon Dynasty's royal palaces have opened up their doors to visitors even at night, offering an opportunity to take in their beauty after work. Gyeongbokgung Palace, the main royal palace, is one of those to have started this season's night tour program. The tour has already been going on for 12 years, and with only a limited number of tickets, they sell fast every time. Through the unique experience of enjoying the night view of the palace, we wanted people to have a chance to know its historical value along with its beauty. We hope visitors can get rid of their stress at one of South Korea's representative cultural heritage sites. The nighttime tour runs for a month until November 29th on every day except Tuesday. Tickets cost 3,000 won and should be bought in advance from the e-commerce website 11th Street. Foreign nationals or those aged 65 or above can also purchase tickets on site. Even for Koreans, visiting at night is worth the effort. I am going abroad soon and I came here to keep the most Korean vibe in my mind. During the day, it is magnificent, but at night, I feel Korea's unique and soft sentiment. Gyeongbokgung Palace isn't the only spot that welcomes visitors at night. Sokjojeon Hall, the most prominent Western-style building of the Taean Empire period, is inviting people to enjoy a special night of music. As if invited by the imperial family themselves, around a dozen people who booked the program beforehand can drink coffee on the terrace while listening to classical melodies. Given that the event is taking place at Sokjojeon Hall from the Taean Empire period, we prepared the program reflecting Emperor Kojong's preference. At the audience chamber, musical numbers from Tontak Hotel, based on the very first Western-style hotel in Korea, add to the excitement of the tour. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.